Billy Epperhart here. Hey, thanks for tuning in and watching the videos. And I just want to remind you, you can go to YouTube front slash Billy Epperhart, and we encourage you to subscribe. We have a, a question here that's coming in off the blog questions is, what is my next step after reading Money Mastery? Well, Money Mastery is the book um, that I've, I've written and was released last year. And uh, we call it Money Mastery, Making Sense of Making Money for Making a Difference. And so this question is, what do we do after we have read the book Money Mastery? And so the next step after reading Money Mastery, the, the whole idea behind Money Mastery, the book Money Mastery, is making sense of making money for making a difference. And so we like to make a difference in the world. It's not just about us having money. But with that understood, there is certain disciplines and a certain uh, uh, pool of knowledge and library of knowledge that you need to have in order to know how to make money. So one of the things when people read the whole idea of money mastery, it's about being able, we call it the triple X factor that's inside of money mastery. The first part of it is learning how to increase your income and learning how to decrease your expenses or your debt. But then the second X is really about you know, learning how to, how to produce and create what we call asset income or the IRS in the U.S. considers passive income so that you have income actually coming off of your assets. And so that income coming off your assets would be like what we say would say like an orchard. Say you had an apple orchard. So if you go pick the apples off of the tree, off of the apple tree, you're not really killing the tree in order to be able to eat. You're actually just eating the apple. So what you want to do with assets is you want to create uh, literally an orchard of assets that are producing apples or things that you can income that you can live off of and that you can collect without having to kill the tree. An example of that is buying a piece of real estate that produces rent. The real estate's producing rent and so the asset here, real estate, is producing rent which is income. So you're able to pick the apple of the rent that's coming off the real estate and by doing so you're able to live out of, if you have enough of it, you're able to live off of that income, or in other words, eat those apples. And so the next step after reading Money Mastery is then, okay, how do I build that orchard, right? And so what we teach you in Money Mastery is that there's, there's, there's five primary ways that apples are produced in your life. And the first one we, we talk about is rent from real estate. Now, it's not buying and selling real estate. It's not being a real estate dealer. It's literally you own real estate, you hold it, and rent comes in. Then another way you do it is what we call dividends off stocks. Now, that's not buying and selling stocks in the stock market. That's literally buying uh, stocks like McDonald's or, or other stocks that are out there that pay good dividends. And people today in our day and age don't even know what dividends are because they're so accustomed now to buying and selling a stock. <clears throat> but dividends are buying stocks and holding what we call dividend paying stocks. Not all stocks are dividend paying stocks, but there are many good quality dividend paying stocks out there. And that simply means like McDonald's, they may pay you anywhere from four to 6%, sometimes 2%, whatever dividend they declare on their stock annually. And that money comes back to you. You don't have to sell the stock in order to get the income. It comes from the dividend. Then an, another way is through what we call intellectual property. If you own intellectual property and it's producing apples for you, you get to eat that. Uh, and then one of the last ways is just interest off of bonds or CDs. So that interest coming in off of bonds or CDs is a great way. Uh, if, now right now, bonds and CDs are so low that it's difficult to do. But you may be watching this particular video three years from right now when I'm recording and they could be up. So basically, the, here's the point. You start learning something about those areas. You start learning something about real estate or the one I left off, the fifth one was businesses. So businesses that actually pay you what we call uh, uh, capital, where you make a capital distribution from a business all of those five areas are, that I listed to you with you are taxed as passive income in your life. They're like the apples coming off the orchard. So that would be rent from real estate, interest from CDs and bonds, um, intellectual property payments, uh, profits from a business that's paid as capital dividends, 
and then dividends from stocks. Those five actually are. So the point is this, after reading Money Mastery, you need to begin to study and learn, watch videos, read books, and start learning how to invest in at least two of those areas. So of those five, if you will learn at least two of those, then you can begin to build uh, long-term wealth and literally begin to create an orchard for your life that you can live out of. Here's what that means. It means you don't have to work any longer. You go to work and earn. It means now you own assets that pay you. You still have to manage those assets, but you don't have to get up and go to work every day. So, and when they get big enough, then you get to do the what we call the triple X, which is literally, literally making a difference in the world. So this is Billy Epperhart. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you, and we'll see you right back here on another video. Bye-bye.